a snob. I got your number, Missy. She's just a devil woman with evil. This is Tyrone. Get up. Where's your manners? Your son. Will Jack give us his pigeons? Oh, you must be kidding over my dead body. Who was that on the phone? No one. Get down the shops, get some milk, some tea, and some crisps for your lunch. Improvise. We live here now. And possession is nine tenths of the law, so shove off! <laughs> Tara! <laughs> Drive past me. I can't wait to get you home. See ya! Don't wanna be ya! <laughs> <laughs> so, what's with the pink hair? Well, when I went back to Corey, I had to re audition. And they wanted to screen test me all over again. And I thought that, you know, they were going to give me a script for Jackie Dobbs, but they hadn't completed the script. So they give me the script for Auntie Pam. Well, my imagination got carried away with myself, yes, Eamon, and I thought, yes. oh, where? I must be playing Jackie's sister. <laughs> They're keeping yes. Jackie in, Nick. Keep talking about her, <laughs> and I'm Jackie's sister, so I'll dye my hair pink. <laughs> and you turned up at the audition actually believing that. Yeah. And then they had to put you right? They had to put me right. They said, Margie, you're off your cake. But the pink hair is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> the pink hair can stay. It's interesting because, you know, t ten years ago, <laughs> yeah, it's you a long left time. Now. It's a long time. And I suppose it would be right to say you weren't in a good place then when they let you go, yeah. didn't they? Well, you'd have to consider that people in show business are paid an awful lot of money to be able to judge whether you can do the job well. And at that point in time, I'd not long lost me mum. And I was in, you know, I was in terrible grief and I didn't face up to it well. And I hit the ale like there was no tomorrow. I was living on junk, rubbish and sweets. And, you know, that's why... Basically, every actor does, who leaves a soap, they don't leave because they want to leave. They leave because they're walking the plank. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to walk the plank. So you understood why they kind yeah. of said, this isn't working for us now? No, uh, and um, I think... I, I got unwell. I was living a dangerous lifestyle. And it's very easy to do if you're in show business. And I had to get well again. Mm. And so I ended up, I studied in a college up in Manchester to become a naturopathic uh, practitioner. Mm. Was and that it, because you never thought you were going back to acting again or showbiz? I couldn't get any work, Eamon. Mm. The work dried up. And, um, and it, you went, wow. It was t dead tough, Ruth. It mm. broke my heart. And, you know, I'd done acting all my adult life. And now I was like a beached whale. <clears throat> and I have, you know, I'm a single parent. And if you, it's different if you're poor when you're a student. Mm. Yes, yeah? yes. Completely you don't expect different it, yeah. if you're poor as a single parent. Mm -hmm. And it was really hard and I struggled. And what I did, I, uh, I studied um, uh, naturopathic medicine and I got myself a little market stall at the Heritage Market up in K uh, Liverpool. And it was brilliant. I love Scouse entrepreneurs. I think you'd be fantastic on a market stall. Everyone thought I was selling pots of jam. <laughs> I wasn't. I was, but I put it up online. I put Soul Rinse up online. And it's www.soulrinse.co.uk. And I wanted to bring it to working class people because more, more middle class people, they know about good health yeah. and they know about, you know, natural products. But then how did you deal with the fact people would be coming up to you thinking, Margie, you're obviously researching a role or whatever, Mark, you'll be a millionaire. Um, what are you doing this for? Uh, how did you respond to actually having to roll up your sleeves and graft like that? Well, my dad always trained us. He said, Margie, he said, you've got to train your ego like you train your bow. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't allowed, Eamon, to have a big ego. Yes. And it, it was just as well. Because, you know, when I did go back to the market and I had to boogie on down in the marketplace, yes. it was tough, but I learned how to sell you so know, and make a living for myself. Say now, would you say now, would you readily admit this, this reappearance in Coronation Street is a second chance for you, a new beginning for you? Oh, Eamon, I was delighted. Not many people get given a second chance. And um, I'd heard on, on the grapevine, someone spoke up for me in Corrie because they were going to recast Jackie Dobbs. They were going to give the part to another actress to play, even though I'd initiated the part. And um, Carmel Morgan stuck up for me, and she said, Margie's in a really good place at the moment, you know, has really got her health back together, doesn't drink anymore, doesn't get off a cake, you know. Basically, I'm a home bird. So what was it like getting that call and then walking back on that set after ten years? And I cried tears of joy. 
it was a bittersweet experience because I was going back and everything looked exactly the same, but it can't be the same. It's 10 years on and, and your loved ones, you know, aren't with you now. Yeah. My mum would be delighted to see oh, me back sure, on the sure. Well, it, it's you know, new ca characters as well since you've come back and one of the characters you're going to be working with a lot is Molly. Yeah. So should we have a look? This is you because Tyrone's a bit unsure how you two are going to get on. So let's have a look. <laughs> Sunday's episode. What have you done to your hair? Ty! Um, happy birthday, Mrs. Dobbs. Oh, this is my fiance, Molly. You've got a fantastic aura, Molly, love. Come in, take the weight off. My casa's your casa. Get the impression oh. there's a bit of new age with with Jackie as well there. As there yeah. is with you. Well, Jackie's gone all hippie strudel, you know, <laughs> and she's minding someone's house, and they're a very right-on couple, and they've gone to Cuba. So Jackie's minding the house, minded the cat, and she's helped herself to the woman's clothes out of a wall. Yes. <laughs> now, who's in the Who's in the car looking yeah. across the street Something there? What's going on going there? On. He's well, you. this is the man who returns from my past. To bite me on the bum, she's been up to some terrible dealings with this man and ripped him off, basically. Oh. And so Tyrone and Molly have to come, you know, to the aid of the party, which is Jackie, yes. and they have to hand over their money that they've saved for the wedding. Lovely. <laughs> now, we're going to see all this Sunday night in Coronation yeah. Street, you're making your big return again. What's it like after so long going back? I mean, you've done some great things. I mean, there's that wonderful film, Letter to Brezhnev, yeah, and that's all fantastic. that right through. Let's that's not forget. Film. Let's not forget the track record that you've had as an actress. But you've been out of it for a while. What's it like lifting up um, scripts and learning lines again? Learning lines is like scrubbing out a really scruffy house, <laughs> and you don't want to do it. You go, no, no. But if you make a start uh -huh. on a little corner and get going. <laughs> Well, then you begin to absorb the script. Mm -hmm. And if you learn the script backwards, then you can act. But if you're looking for a line or, you know, you're not quite sure what you're going to say next, camera sees everything, yeah. Eamon. Yeah. Everything shows up on your So you do your homework Unfortunately. Now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Get it all nailed down. Get Listen, all nailed down. it's lovely to see you looking so well and thanks being in truth. such a great place now. And thanks for being so honest about Keep what smiling. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm delighted to be good. back. And, yeah. you know, it's a privilege. It's like playing for England. Being in Coronation Street. Yeah. Wow, lovely, it's lovely. Great to see you. A Sunday Might night. Might be actually better you. than playing for England these days, the way England yeah. are playing. Not uh... <laughs> to get you on board, big captain. <laughs> and we lovely see you some you. Sunday night's much. episode, isn't it? Uh, seven, yeah. Seven thanks, episode. Ruth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Oh, well, that's cheered us up on a Friday, <laughs> then, hasn't yeah, it? Has. See if it gets better. Here's the competition.